All right, so welcome back to driveway. We are out here in the P30. Now, of course, you can see behind me, we got our old engine going on here. But today we're gonna tackle some of the cooling in this thing. Uh, that was the main issue that probably took out the transmission. So we've got a lot of things to clear up there. It's been a mess for many years and it's about darn time I take care of it. This way, this machine will be a little more efficient and actually work for quite some time. So, step one, we're gonna have to rip out what we currently have, and then I'll have to drag out what we're going to swip a, swap it a little over to. So yeah, stick around and let's get rolling. <laughs> All right, so right in here we got old radiator. This is something that was just pulled out of the back junk lot. And then we got our standard clutch fan, no shroud. That got annihilated quite some time ago. So I guess first thing we're gonna do, rip out our radiator. We got, of course, got our bucket down here and we'll clean this thing up. Big reason we're getting rid of this radiator is it doesn't have the provision for the heat. So I've been running this thing without heat for good 10 years, maybe more. Can't remember when I bought this thing, but hasn't had heat for quite some time. So we're going to eventually remedy that Probably get a little bit of heat and air conditioning. Really live high on the hog here. Anyways, a couple screws. We'll just yank this thing right out. So the next item I'm going to yank out of this thing is the Finger Chopper 9000 here. It's one of those things that we won't be using this where I'm going with it. So off to the side. This definitely cleans up this inside engine bay immensely. And it's definitely going to give us more room for essentially the AC compressor will sit over there. Definitely a bunch more room in here. All right, let's go see what we're going to shove in here. All right, so what we got out here, you can see we got our new radiator. It's a touch bigger than the other one. And then instead of the Finger Chopper 9000. We've got this guy though. Fit pretty well on there. I mean, it doesn't get full coverage, but it's not too bad. And this, of course, is the uh, fan from the Crossfire original part. So that should be good there. And then in addition to the transmission cooler there, we're going to add two more. Give us plenty of cooling capacity. So we'll be pretty much set there. We're going to probably start off with taking these guys, finding them a good place to mount up in the front end, probably right next to the oil cooler that's stock on this thing. So, that's what we'll do. Alright, so we got that guy in there, there's the oil cooler, and then another one over on the side. 
we got our inputs and outputs at the bottom. Not too bad. And we're gonna slap in the radiator and start seeing how things kind of line up in here. I think this will work pretty nice. All right, so new radiators in. Get my hoses hanging back around where they belong. So we're gonna have in from the transmission and it'll come out through there and then it's going to cycle through this closest one then the furthest one and then it'll leave out from there and go straight to the transmission this will basically allow the transmission to be heated up by the engine coolant but then cooled down a little bit beyond what the main radiator will be able to do. So if you have this thing set for like a 195 thermostat, you're probably not getting massive uh, coolant drop. So yeah. That'll basically allow it to cool a little bit beyond ambient and keep it, I'm hoping, keeping it down in that 140 to 160 area. That'll be warm enough to keep all the moisture out, all the BSing, but cool enough to not cook stuff. Anyways, I currently just have them have it zip tied so it doesn't really go anywhere. Put a rivet on to hold the uh, shroud onto the radiator. And then this way, I'll be able to slip a condenser for air conditioning. Be able to slip it right down inside in between there. Throw my Compressor in over there. And we'll be set. All right. So now we got cooling. We got brakes. I guess next time we can just fire this thing up and get it moving again. Sweet. All right. So I got the rest of the lines all plumbed up. We got a bunch of fluid shoved in there. Should be about good. At least good enough to see if it works. Anyways, thanks for stopping by and watching.